Hi, welcome to I've Had Worse. Today we're off to Mexico. This is Modelo Especial, brought to you by the same people who brew Corona. Um, never had it, mm, really interested. So it's a uh, 4.5 in a 355ml bottle. Um, I think this one's brewed in Mexico. Uh, talk about micro writing. It's so tiny that I couldn't take a, uh, couldn't even take a picture of it. Um, mm, so there you go. Not a lot to tell you other than get it open, get it into a glass. I know that uh, Brett uh, over at BDB Reviews rates this. Um, although it's in a clear bottle, I'm going to pop it into a, a chalice and uh, get my nose in there. Although I can already smell a bit of funk. Okay. This is available uh, in quite a few places. I picked this one up in BM stores, I think. Um, also, I bought this singly, but it also comes in like a, a four pack or a six pack. Four, I think, yeah. Four it was, yeah. And I've seen it in uh, Lidl from time to time in like a four pack. Okay. So we have amber colored, going over to the I've had worse whiteboard, amber colored beer. Yeah, similar to the other one, actually. Oh, oh right, so the one that I thought was toffee. Yeah, so... so. Okay, so... And I said amber, so you've just said that. We're going to disagree about the colours of things, aren't we? I might well, get... Well, you have to go with Dulux. Du I am going to get a Dulux paint chart, and that's how I'm going to grade beers. Okay, <laughs> so I did pour it quite gently. There's a little bit of carbonation rising up. What little head is there on the outside is sticking to the glass. There's a little bit of sort of funk, skunking, festival cigarette on the nose. But underneath that is a bit of lemon there. But sort of more biscuit, I think. Okay, right. Cheers. Nice carbonation, pushes it round. And then nothing. Okay, let's give it a good. Well, it's not much malt. Little sort of biscuit. Yeah, that sort of, yeah, subtle biscuit malts but not a great deal, not much bitterness. I'd describe this as a typical lager. No, not a typical lager. It doesn't have a lot to do going for it. Okay, so it's not got a strong flavor. It's not nothing, but it's, um, I was thinking then I'm going to have to go back and revisit some things. Um, I tried Jamaican Red Stripe. Um, I'll put a link. Uh, and I was very disappointed and I liken that to drinking a cloud. Um, I could imagine in the sun it would be really refreshing, as would this. Uh, but there was no flavour and I kind of like things with the flavour. This doesn't have a great deal. No, I'm sorry, I'm not getting this. It's just a bit... Uh, okay. Mm, so. Oh, wow, I'm a bit disappointed with this. There you go. Uh, if you taste is different. Yeah, I was going to say, when you get a recommendation sometimes and someone says, I really enjoyed that beer, um, you know, you think, oh, this could be really special. Now... That's not to say that they've got bad taste. Um, context is everything. Uh, you know, where you drink something, you know, within the sun, the dark, damp cottage in Wales, um, can change the effects uh, of, of, of taste and flavour. Um, this is not doing this for me. Um, tell me what you think. Have you had it? Um, how did it com do you, how do you find it compared to that there Corona? Can't speak today. <laughs> Corona, like this or no like this? Um, tell me what you think. 
can I recommend this one? It was reasonably cheap. I think it was around about the four quid mark for four. Um, it's as I said, it's not foul. Give it a go. Um, but for me, it's just not doing it. There you go. You can't win them all. Cheers.